Hey guys! So today I wanted to come on and talk about my September favorites. I have a bunch, so I think I'm just going to get right into it. My first September favorite would have to be my Beauty Blender. I did recently get this one. I used it today, that's why it's dirty. <laughs> but I ordered the two-pack from Amazon. I find that you can get it a little bit cheaper on Amazon instead of buying it in Sephora or another place. And I did actually buy the CVS Essence of Beauty, their beauty blender kind of thing. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see sort of a comparison or a review. I definitely feel just between those two products, I definitely love the beauty blender more. But I know that there's tons of dupes out there like Sonia Kashuk's and... I think Ulta has one, and there's even one I think you can get at TJ Maxx, so those might be better. But as far as the CVS one and this one, definitely the Beauty Blender. So going with that, I will move on to foundation. My favorite foundation has been the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Sand. I love this. It's $6. It has a pump. It's really sleek looking with the frosted glass but besides the packaging the color is really nice and I really love the combination of these two using this foundation with the beauty blender because it is a little bit creamy and so I find that the beauty blender really helps to um, blend it in seamlessly and make it look um, airbrushed. I guess we'll move on to eyes. So keeping with e.l.f. I love this e.l.f. matte eyeshadow. It looks like this. And it's it's a loose shadow, which I typically I'm not a huge fan of, but I really do love this shadow. I wonder if I can... Excuse my nails. I'll try to swatch it for you so you can see. It's just a really gorgeous color. It's sort of like a taupe. And I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now, so I'll just show you. It's in my crease. Another product I'm wearing by e.l.f. on my eyes is the e.l.f. Liquid Eyeliner in, I think it's just black. Yeah, black. And this is only a dollar, I swear. I think it looks pretty good. Sorry, my phone. I think for a dollar, this is an amazing eyeliner. It's definitely very black. And I think it wears really well. And I, you know, for a dollar, why not give it a shot? That and the last eye product is this Victoria Jackson Brow Pencil in the color Taupe. I got this in my Ipsy bag. And although I really don't like it for my brows, I just don't know if it's the right color for me. I really love it as an eyeliner. And that's it next to that eyeshadow. And I love to wear this along the lower lash line just to give some dimension. And the last sort of makeup item is the Revlon Lipstick in Black Cherry. I've been really loving dark lips for fall. I just think they're so gorgeous. And I made a whole video about um, my Oxblood, my top five Oxblood lipsticks, which I'll link below if you haven't checked that out. But I definitely think this one is really dark, but you can sheer it out and it's really gorgeous. And it's really comparable to Max Hang Up, which is my other favorite that I also wear a lot. But I just love the way that it looks. Dark lips and just some winged liner, like how I have on today, because I'm not wearing dark lips. But, um, yeah, I just love that look. Okay, moving on to hair products. So my first favorite, because I have gone blonde and I do tone my hair every few weeks with, well, I will be toning my hair every few weeks, I guess I should say, with Wella Toners, which I did make a video about showing you um, what I use and all that. But in between that, in between toning it, because I don't want to tone it 
every week. That'd be crazy. I like to use this purple shampoo. So this is the Paul Mitchell Platinum Blonde Shampoo. And this stuff is really purple. So you can see that is some purple stuff. Um, I like to put this on my hair and just let it sit for a few minutes. If I feel like my hair is really brassy, I'll let it sit a bit longer, just depending. Okay, the next product is the L'Oreal Eversleek Frizz Taming Cream Serum, which I did talk about in a haul video. I absolutely love this stuff. It is amazing. I like to take a few pumps of it and put it all throughout my hair when it's damp, and then once I have styled my hair, I like to take it and just sort of run along my hair just to get any frizz and especially towards the ends because now that I have bleached my hair I want to make sure that um, my hair looks healthy even though it's not really healthy I try to fake it and this is really good at faking it <laughs> next hair product which I use these guys together is the macadamia oil by organics and I like to use this to put also throughout my hair when it's damp and then if I need to because this one's more of an oil and this is obviously more of a cream so if I feel like I need more moisture I'll opt for this one but I just love the way that this makes my hair shine and feel soft and silky so that's why it's favorite okay moving on now to sort of body products I absolutely love this Vaseline Total Moisture Cocoa Radiant Vitalizing Body Gel Oil. That's a lot to say. I had this in the summer. I just um, stopped using it basically because it it is an oil or a gel and it can make you very greasy. And in the summer I don't need as much moisture as I do in the winter. And then I was watching Lola Marie 7 here on YouTube and she said that what she does is in the shower she'll lather up with this stuff and then rinse it off and I find that that is just amazing my skin is still so silky smooth but it's not as greasy as it would be if I just applied it to let's say dry skin so um, definitely recommend trying that if you haven't or if you feel like it's too greasy otherwise I would just make sure you use a very little amount because a little bit goes a long way with this stuff my last favorite product to show you guys is the flower bomb perfume and this is a little sample guy but I absolutely love it and I will definitely be getting a bigger bottle of it it just smells so amazing it's very warm it's a perfect winter scent it has lots of notes of flowers obviously but it's also very um very warm it has some musk to it and it just it's just perfect for winter if you haven't smelled it you should go to Sephora and get yourself a sample or just try it at first when you smell it you're like whoa this is a lot but once you put it on your skin and you kinda let it sit and wait a minute then you really get all those notes and it's really beautiful and it lasts a long time so definitely gonna get a big bottle of that it would be fun since I did all my favorite beauty products to tell you about some of my favorite I think I'm just going to pick random items every month or whatever I've been into for the month. So I'd say the my favorite food of the month that I've been eating a lot is avocado sushi. I'd say my favorite TV show that I've been into this month is New Girl. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. I think you will love it. It's on Netflix and I just watched both seasons and now I'm all caught up to the new season of the most hysterical shows on TV. So that's what I've been into. Um, oh, anything from Bath and Body Works. This is the autumn candle and I really love this autumn scent. It's like amazing and after I showed you guys my Bath and Body Works haul or whatever, I did go back and I bought wallflowers from Bath and Body Works and I got the scent autumn and that's in my kitchen which I have the little pumpkin wallflower it's so beautiful and they have so much nice stuff I don't know what it is about fall especially but going to Bath and Body Works I have to get the wallflowers and the hand sanitizers and the hand soap and the candles I need everything 
It's just, I think it just really gets me in the mood for fall, especially the candles. I've been big into candles this month. And I guess that's really it. Those are all my favorite things. And please let me know what your favorites are for the month of September, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.